comedian Dave Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So I have left Europe. What a fucking trip. I'll talk about it fucking when I get back because I am in Qatar airport and I've got like fucking half an hour before my fucking next flight takes off. So I've got to bash the fucking body out. I'm surrounded. There's people fucking everywhere. They're just fucking eyeballing me going, what's this cunt up to? This cunt must have a fucking potty. The fucking plane was delayed for an hour and a half or whatever. And there was meant to be two hours in transit here. But now there's only half an hour, so I can't do fucking anything. So it's just a mad fucking rush now. Usually at the airport, I would like to find a comfortable nook where I can fucking open up a little bit. I can say the C word. Cunt. Louder. But anyway, you got to work with what you got. So I went to Book of Mormons last night, my final night in London, and I have to say, theatre is gay. It was really hard to look past the fact that all the characters were just prancing around fucking singing and dancing. Like it was good for a musical, I think. The only other musical I've been to was like Showboat, which is the gayest fucking musical of all time. And I think I like Showboat better. I don't know what that says about me. Like, honestly, there's a comedian called Yanis Pappas, New York guy, and he said about the Book of Mormons, he's like, it's funny for theatre. It's not funny for anything else. If you compare it to actual funny things, it's not that funny. But I did enjoy it. There were some funny parts, but also I was coming down after a big night on the MD with no sleep. I also didn't sleep last night. 48 hours, no sleep. It was fucking rough this morning on the way out on the train. I was about five stops from the airport and I just started falling asleep uncontrollably. I couldn't fucking open my eyes. They were just shutting. My head was falling forward. I was falling asleep in between fucking train stations and just like sporadically waking. I'm like, I can't fucking miss this stop. Otherwise, I'm fucked. And I just could not stay awake. I couldn't stand up. I couldn't do anything. It just all fucking poured on me at once. And then I did actually fall asleep just before my fucking Heathrow stopped. But when the train stopped, I fucking bounced up like a fucking leopard. I'm not too sure how long the flight was just then from London to Qatar. But I was asleep for the whole fucking thing. I must have been real fucking zapped because a couple of times I did wake up. Because some little girl in front of us was just yelling her fucking head off. It was insane. It sounded like a little bit autistic-y. So no one was really fucking getting pissed off. But my god, she was just yelling at the top of her voice. So I woke up a couple of times because of that and I stayed up for a little bit. And I don't know if it was the lack of sleep or whatever. I just started like getting emotional and crying. Not like bursting into tears, just a couple of fucking droplets, you know? Not about anything like in particular either, just about life in general. (laughs) Just about fucking life. I tell you what, after that fucking MD and the 48 hours of no sleep, I was not operating at full boil capacity. Even my organs I couldn't operate properly. I couldn't go to the toilet properly, I had no fucking control over the function of my like urination let's put it that way and i was thinking about it i had one bacon sandwich in 48 hours that was the only thing i ate besides some fucking mdma shard so my body probably wasn't too fucking excited but that is the fucking end of that it's a relief to get away from the fucking home delivered drugs that's for sure anyway have i covered everything yet the flight my cry theater's gay book of mormon is Good for a musical, but still gay. (laughs) It is. I'm not just trying to be a contrarian here because every other fucking person on earth who's seen it loves it. I just thought it was kind of lame. But the crowd loved it. Fuck, the crowd loved it. Fucking standing ovation at the end. Middle-aged, pissed-up, white English fucking ladies. Hooping and harring. It was a fucking scene, and some of the fucking laughs, like mediocre as fuck jokes, like some of the biggest laughs I've ever heard, but it was good, I did enjoy it. Anyway, 
I need to fucking get this podcast out and get to my fucking gate. Next stop, Sydney. I'll fucking see you when I'm back home. And I'll see you the fuck later.